The single marine program took a different spin on a traditional gingerbread Diapers, macaroni, and Ritz crackers were only some of the materials architects had to work with in this horrific holiday house raising. We got here, this is an underground hotel. We got the starfish right here. But you know how they have where fishes live? You know, they have the starfish. And right in the middle of this whole location, you got a hotel. I call this Atlantis. That's what I call it. Yeah, Atlantis. Some followed the directions to a T, while others based their creations off of movies and pure creative genius. What we're going for is ugly, not pretty. I call this the gingerbread house. It is based off of Hansel and Gretel. You see, it is the entrails of all the foolish gingerbread men who tried to come inside. They're broken across the ground. I think it's cool to have events like this because it's different. You know, people get tired of the same thing repeatedly over and over again. It's good to have something in there to mix things up. Yeah, I never thought I'd join and make gingerbread houses with other people, I'll tell you that much. And it's pretty fun. You never know how something's gonna end out until you try it. Santa's Beach House, an outhouse Christmas, and the Grinch's Lair were some of the final results of this crazy Christmas competition. I feel that mine's was the ugliest of all, you know, you understand, but Theirs are pretty good, even though good wasn't a part of the criteria, but I appreciate it. They put in the work, so I understand. I'm going to win the next one. I learned from my mistakes. I'm going to come back stronger next time. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Marine Sergeant David Bickle.